Hi guys, this is Nasim here, and welcome back to Guardian Guides, where I break down all the patterns and teach you how to dodge them. Today's guest is Descaluda, and if you've been raiding Velganos, Descaluda will be a walk on the beach. Descaluda is designed to help you practice counter skills, so this guardian has multiple counterable patterns. The recommended battle items are maybe HP potions and maybe destruction bombs. It's pretty easy and you'll be saving a lot of battle items. So please, please at least use a flare to locate the guardian. Since Descaluda specializes in counter patterns, I'll go over all of them first. There are four in total. Descaluda flaps her wing once quickly, then she will charge in the direction she is facing. Descaluda levitates, flaps her wings twice, and will charge forward. Descaluda will levitate again, but will summon these tornadoes. These tornadoes will slow and damage you. After she flaps her wings twice, she will start charging to grab you. Unlike other guardians' grab patterns, you cannot stagger to help your teammate out. You will only hurt yourself for being too close, so just stay away until she lets go of the party member. Around every 4 minutes, Descaluda will soar, then these fake Descaludas will be flying over you. The 7th Descaluda is the real Descaluda, and you'll have the chance to counter it. If you fail this counter, Descaluda will run away. But if you successfully counter this, Descaluda will stay in place. I'll be talking about weak point skills in a bit, but one thing to note here is if you fail to destroy Descaluda's tails, this fake Aluda pattern will not be counterable and you won't be able to prevent Descaluda from running away. While we're at it, let's go over why it's important to destroy Descaluda's tails. When flames start coming out of Descaluda's tails, weak point damage will start stacking. The required weak point is not too high, but after you see these flames, focus on using your weak point skills. Once you succeed, you will gain a buff that heals you for 20 seconds, and another buff that increases your crit rate by 25%. You will lose the buff if you get hit 4 times, but if you can keep the buff for more than a minute, you will get a buff that increases your crit rate by 60% and crit damage by 40%. However, if you fail the tail destruction mechanic, this Kaluta will fly up and start dropping meteors. Also, like I mentioned before, you will not be able to counter her fake Kaluta pattern and will have to let her run away. A lot of Descaluda's normal patterns are similar to Helgaia and Frost Helgaia's patterns, so if you've been watching my guides and actually paid attention to the telegrams, dodging some of Descaluda's normal patterns will be in your muscle memory. So to keep this video short, I won't go over those patterns. Descaluda brings her wings up and tilts her body to the left. She will then turn 180 degrees to whip whoever was in front of her. If you get hit, you'll be stunned. So if you see her tilt her body to the left, don't be in front of her. Descaluda will spin while soaring and drop these feathers. After a few seconds, these feathers will explode. You will see three circles around Descaluda, which will explode after a few seconds. All you have to do is avoid these. However, sometimes Descaluda will summon another circle that fills up this spot, so get ready to move out again just in case. Descaluda spreads her wings, and there will be circles that shoot lasers from her head, tail, and wings. These circles will be in two different colors, green and blue. The blue circles will not be shooting lasers, so make sure you are not standing in front of the green circles. If you are colorblind, you can look inside the donut hole. You can see that this donut has this small circle in it, and this small circle will be shooting lasers, so make sure you are standing in front of a circle with an empty donut hole. This Kaluta will roll into a ball, and these arrows will start aiming at random party members. After a few seconds, these arrows will lock on to their current direction and shoot. If you get hit by this, you will get stunned. Try not to direct these to your teammates as well. You're not really supposed to do this, but it's just fun, so I decided to call this the fan. Don't do this in matchmaking. This Kaluta will soar in a circular motion, and two party members will have this cross, which explodes in a few seconds. The direction of the cross depends on which way you're facing, so if you keep moving, the cross will be all over the place. 
So the best thing to do here is to stay still if you have the cross, and those who do not have the cross can move around to the safe area. After the crosses explode, the Skaluda will drop and damage you once more, so make sure you dodge this red circle as well. I hope this video helped you match the Skaluda, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Guardian Guides. Alright, peace! I need to know if you'll give me a second chance But don't come on often, but please you know I can't stand it When you don't talk to me